ever wondered why dams and reservoirs aren't as green as they seem? Let's dive into the hidden environmental impact of these colossal structures, which often get a pass as a source of renewable energy. Did you know that these dams and their reservoirs are responsible for the release of nearly 1 billion tons of methane into the atmosphere annually? That's right, it's not just water that's rushing through those turbines, but also a potent greenhouse gas. Let's take a moment to understand the process. As water churns through the 25 turbines and spillways of a dam, like the Tukurui Dam in northern Brazil, it's not just generating electricity, it's also emitting greenhouse gases. This is because dissolved greenhouse gases flow through these turbines just as the water does. Now, let's talk about methane. Methane is a greenhouse gas that's over 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a two-decade lifespan. While it breaks down faster in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide, its short-term impact on global warming is significantly more severe. Just as carbon dioxide dissolves in our fizzy water while under pressure, methane gas dissolves in large bodies of water under certain conditions. And when this water is disturbed, as it is when it tumbles through the turbines of a dam, the methane comes out of solution and turns into bubbles of gas. To put it into perspective, out of the 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases emitted by humans every year, 3 billion tons of those are from methane that escapes from water. And one of the single biggest sources of this degassing methane is something of a surprise. It's hydroelectric dams. So, the water powering our homes and cities isn't just water passing through turbines, but also a potent greenhouse gas. And that, my friends, is why dams and reservoirs aren't as green as they seem. Let's dive into the mystery of methane production in dams and reservoirs. Imagine the process akin to the fizz in your sparkling water. Before you crack open a bottle, there are no bubbles because the carbon dioxide gas is dissolved under pressure. As you twist the cap, releasing the pressure, you hear a satisfying hiss as the carbon dioxide gas forms bubbles and rises up. Now, if you've ever been too eager and shaken the bottle before opening, you've witnessed a rather explosive demonstration of degassing. This is essentially what happens with methane in the water of our dams and reservoirs. Picture it like this. Our dams are gigantic bottles of sparkling water. As water rushes through turbines, it's like shaking that bottle. It causes a disturbance. This disturbance triggers the degassing process. And just like our carbon dioxide bubbles, methane comes out of the solution and forms gas bubbles. But instead of a harmless fizz, we're talking about a potent greenhouse gas escaping into the atmosphere. The numbers are staggering. Of the 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases we humans emit each year, 3 billion tons are from methane that escapes from water. And one of the largest single sources of this degassing methane is something you might not expect, hydroelectric dams. These dams, often hailed as a source of clean renewable energy, are in fact releasing almost 1 billion tons of methane into the atmosphere as water tumbles through their turbines. This methane is more than 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a two-decade span, though it does break down faster in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. All this means that hydroelectricity might not be as clean as we first thought. The water rushing through the dam's turbines isn't just generating electricity. It's also releasing massive amounts of dissolved greenhouse gases, including methane. This methane release isn't just a side effect of hydroelectricity, but a hidden contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions. Methane from dams and reservoirs isn't a small problem. It's a significant one, and surprisingly, it's a problem that has largely been overlooked. Let's put this into perspective. Each year, humans are responsible for the emission of an estimated 51 billion tons of greenhouse gases. Out of this staggering total, 3 billion tons come from methane. And a considerable chunk of this methane isn't coming from the usual suspects like livestock or fossil fuel extraction. Instead, it's bubbling up from the water in our dams and reservoirs. Now you might be thinking, but aren't dams a source of renewable energy? And yes, you're right. Hydroelectric dams have long been heralded as a cleaner alternative to fossil fuels. But here's the twist. As water churns through the turbines and spillways of these dams, it's not just electricity that's being generated. Methane, a greenhouse gas more than 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a 20-year lifespan, is also being released. This happens because, under certain conditions, methane gas can dissolve in large bodies of water, much like carbon dioxide in a fizzy drink. 
And just as opening a bottle of sparkling water releases bubbles of carbon dioxide, the churning of water in a dam releases the dissolved methane, which then escapes into the atmosphere. And get this, one of the biggest culprits of this degassing methane are hydroelectric dams. That's right, these supposedly green structures are contributing to the very problem they're designed to mitigate. So, what's the scale of the problem? Well, dams and their reservoirs are responsible for almost 1 billion tons of methane emissions each year. That's roughly a third of all methane emissions worldwide. It's a startling revelation, isn't it? These structures, which we've long considered as allies in our fight against climate change, are in fact part of the problem. It's clear that we need to address this methane menace. And luckily, there are innovative minds out there already working on potential solutions. But more on that in the next scene. But what if we could turn this environmental problem into a power solution? Let's step into the world of innovation and ingenuity, where methane, the notorious greenhouse gas, is being eyed as a potential power source. There are startups like Blue Methane that are championing this cause. Nestled within a 20-foot-long rust-red container at Cranfield University, Blue Methane is developing technology that captures methane from bodies of water, such as reservoirs and sewage treatment plants. The vision is to harness the methane bubbles that are on the brink of escaping into the atmosphere. It's like catching a firefly just before it takes flight into the night sky. The brain behind this operation is Louise Parlons Bentata, the chief executive and co-founder of Blue Methane. She envisions a world where methane, the primary component of fossil natural gas, is not a menace, but a valuable resource. Imagine a world where this potent greenhouse gas is burned as an energy resource rather than wreaking havoc in our atmosphere. The technology is designed to capture methane bubbles as they move up to the surface, funneling them off to be collected for use as a non-fossil source of biogas. It's like creating a detour for the methane, steering it away from the atmosphere and into a productive energy cycle. The commercialization of Blue Methane's technology is currently being tested at United Utilities, a water company in the northwest of the UK. The company already uses anaerobic digestion, a process that creates methane biogas from solid waste. Blue Methane's technology could now help capture the dissolved methane that still remains in the liquid post-digestion further enhancing the company's energy generation. The beauty of this solution is that it doesn't require a dramatic change in the existing infrastructure. It's about making what we have work more efficiently and more responsibly. It's about turning a problem into a solution, a threat into an opportunity. This innovative technology could revolutionize not just hydroelectricity, but also the fight against global warming. Let's recap what we've discovered about the hidden environmental impact of dams and reservoirs. In the world of renewable energy, hydroelectric dams, such as the colossal Tucurui Dam in Brazil, have been long-standing powerhouses. Yet, these engineering marvels harbor a lesser-known secret. As water roars through their turbines, they churn out greenhouse gases, including a significant amount of methane. To give you an idea, Imagine the equivalent of four Olympic-sized swimming pools of water cascading through turbines every second, each drop potentially carrying dissolved methane. This methane, a greenhouse gas over 80 times more potent than carbon dioxide over a 20-year lifespan, bubbles up and escapes into the atmosphere. Considering that 3 billion tons of the annual 51 billion tons of human-generated greenhouse gases come from methane escaping from water, the environmental impact becomes clear. But it's not all doom and gloom. As we've seen, this methane menace also presents an exciting opportunity. The very same methane that's contributing to global warming could be harnessed as a source of power. Startups like Blue Methane, led by the visionary Louise Parlon Bentata, are developing innovative technologies to capture these methane bubbles before they escape. Their method? Imagine a rust-red container filled with a series of pipes and containers through which water tumbles down under gravity. As the methane bubbles rise to the surface, the technology funnels them off to be collected for use as a non-fossil source of biogas. The commercialization of this technology is currently being tested in the real world, with promising results. As we continue to strive for sustainable energy solutions, it's crucial to keep innovating and exploring every potential source, even the ones hiding in plain sight.
because sometimes the answer to our biggest challenges might be bubbling up right under our noses.